Tinibu in trouble. As governor of Illinois, Chicago involved, more evidence surfaces. Obedience in action, breaking news. Hello, people. Welcome back once again to this particular YouTube channel. You know, after obedience must have dealt with this Bola Ahmed Tinibu, as a matter of fact, he will understand that it is not all about you know using all forms of thuggery in Nigeria to rig election. You know, there is one good thing about this obedience. As a matter of fact, they don't come out to you know fight with you physically, unlike the APC talks that they used in the presidential election. They make use of their intelligence and they make use of their brains. They know how to follow and fight their battle diplomatically. And this is why Tinibu, as a matter of fact, is finding it difficult to dismount this obedient movement. As a matter of fact, the governor of Chicago, of uh, Illinois in Chicago, you know, has actually you know, been involved because this particular case has become a global case. And this is the embarrassment, as a matter of fact, that the, I, the criminal INEC uh, chairman, Bin Mahmoud Yakubu, could have actually you know, avoided for Nigerians. Other than taking um, millions and millions of dollars from Bola Metinibu and you know, uh, criminally declared him president when he did not even meet the constitutional requirement and when he did not even get any uh, uh, votes or the, or the number of votes which I you know, allocated to him. You know, Chicago, uh, Bolatinibu's Chicago State uh, Resort has actually been one of the most trending cases we have, in fact, globally, not just within this particular country, because our so called number one citizen being the president, you know, uh, fought certificate it is no longer a news or probably it's not even something that is under investigation because the whole lot of evidences that have been submitted against him imagine a man who submitted a, a, a different uh, document to INEC two different documents that he submitted to INEC are entirely different both the fonts the number of persons that signed the document in, 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 in submitted to INEC and the number of persons that, that normally signs Chicago State University results are quite different even the, the, the certificate that he submitted to INEC had the signatory of somebody that was not even employed in the school when Bola Metinibu allegedly even graduated from the school. Even it had about two signatories of people that were not even employed in the school. So how come that is it that his own documents or his own uh, 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 certificate has the signatories of these particular people? And a lot of people are questioning, why must it be that everything about Tinibu is quite controversial? Is he the only one that attended the Chicago State University? Why is he the only person that is having this issue? In the transcript he submitted before he gained admission to this particular university, I told you guys that, that this transcript has the gender of a female. And in my previous video, if you not watch it, I, watch it, I told you that a document, the subpoena the results which uh, 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 Chicago State University brought about one Bola Metinibu, indicated that the Bola Metinibu, as a matter of fact, you know, graduated and he, he did all his academic studies within one year and uh, eight months. He started school in 1977 and completed it in 1979. One year, eight months. Where is it being done that you use one year, eight months to obtain a bachelor degree uh, 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 in, uh, in accounting or uh, in so-called uh, business and administration, which is not coherent as a matter of fact. It all boils down to this particular part that this particular certificate was, was forged. As a matter of fact, Bolatinibu did not attend that particular university. Rather, he simply went and bought the certificate. That is why he, he went and submitted a fake uh, and a forged uh, uh, certificate to the INEC body in the, in, the, in the country. And he refused. As a matter of fact, I told you guys that he refused to put or impute his uh, 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 primary and secondary school education because he, he, he did not even attend any primary and secondary school. And people are asking, if he didn't attend primary and secondary school, so how is it possible that Chicago State University admitted you? Because from all we know, the university cannot admit you if you don't present your O level of or your primary school certificates and all that. So how is it possible that Chicago State actually you know, admitted you when you did not present any of this? And this poses a lot of questions. And when Tinibu was asked, what, what, what is the main cause of, for these discrepancies in your results, in everything, he blamed an unnamed clerk in Chicago State University, which is very funny. Till date, they've been asking Bola Metinibu, can you give us the name of this particular clerk which you claim manipulated the results or, or, or even changed your certificate that made it to have three signatories and different fonts and even different dates of graduation? Bola Metinibu could not name the, 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 the Chicago State clerk that actually you know, caused this kind of error. And just for him, it's not like the Chicago State uh, clerk caused the error for any other person, just particularly for Bola Metinibu. So the question is, why must he be always him? This was the same man who, who, who in his account in, in the same Chicago, was found, found about millions of dollars of drug heroin um, trafficking and all that. And at the end of the day, he, he ended up for 1,560,000 US dollars to the United States government because of the drug-related proceeds from his accounts and all that. Now, like I said, he's messing with the wrong generation. You know, we've told him that he's practically messing with the wrong generation. 
in obedience, you know, he's taking this particular uh, case to another level, despite the fact that it's, it's not even P2B, as a matter of fact, that even filed this particular case at the Chicago State Court or trying to investigate his uh, certificates, being uh, Atuka, which uh, is Atuka Abubakar that actually, you know, uh, that is actually, you know, kind of on this particular case. But you could see that obedience are the well-meaning Nigerians because they want to unravel the secret behind this particular person. Of course, what are the precedents that we're going to send, we are going to set for our, 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 our official children? That a man that who a man who forced certificate is normal citizen, a man who forfeited for and sister, no. And this is the reason why all women in Nigerians and obedience have decided to flood the governor of uh, this Chicago. You know, recently they flooded the account of this uh, Chicago state uh, governor, uh, this uh, Ilonius, the governor of Ilonius, you know, whose name is uh, uh, JB Prisek Priska, you know, and you know, they, they, they started commenting and asking the governor to, to you know to open a full blown investigation into that Chicago State University. Because it seems that this the, uh, this uh, Chicago State University, you know, has a history of you know uh, producing and you know giving out or selling out certificates to people that did not even attend the university. Because even if, if you remember when this problem started, Chicago State University quickly went and deleted 1979 yearbook of all the graduates and all the alumni of that particular university to tell you that there is something fishy and there is something this particular university is actually hiding from the public. That is why obedience flooded the uh, governor of Illinois, being this particular man, J.B. Um, Chris Carr, to actually, as a matter of fact, uh, in, in investigate this university. And not just that, investigate Bola Ahmed Tinibu to know if he truly attended that particular university and if the Bola Tinibu that even attended the university is still the same Bola Tinibu that we have in this particular country. Because there are a whole lot of discrepancies, I must tell you for the fact, there are a whole lot of discrepancies that are even beyond one's explanation, one can even explain. I can boldly tell you for the fact. Well, like I've said before, whatever that is hidden about this particular man will definitely be reviewed because obedience are not sleeping on this. They are not sleeping on this because they vowed, as a matter of fact, to expose this man. Of course, the rule of law, of law must be maintained in this particular country. You can't have someone who forged certificate to sit on the number one position. The question a lot of people are asking is that why is it that it must be Bola Met Tinibu? And why must it be that Tinibu wants to prevent the Chicago State University from releasing his academic records and his certificate? Why is he not proud of it? A whole lot of discrepancies. A man that graduated uh, 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 within one year and eight months within one year and eight months from a university course, which is not, which is practically not even possible. A man who could not, as a matter of fact, date, name any of his colleagues or any of his colleagues which uh, attended the same primary or secondary or even this Chicago State University cannot even say or boldly hit their chest and say that Tinibu was their classmate during their time in the university. So there is something fishy. That is why obedience flooded the account of the governor of Illinois, where this Chicago State University is being found to open a full-blown investigation to this for us to know the actual person who actually owns this particular certificate. Well, like I said, I'll keep you guys posted concerning this entire incident.